Are you stuck in analysis paralysis trying to find the perfect product to sell on Amazon? You might just be hearing so much advice from so many different directions that it is leaving you unsure what to do next. Well, what if I told you that within the next few minutes, you will have a clear idea of what product not only to choose, but to move forward with. Cause I will be personally sharing with you my six figure AI prompts that will allow you to find products in literal minutes. Most important part that most people overlook, oddly enough, is actually finding the right niche. And it's simply because they think that the niche and the product are the exact same thing, but they are completely different. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I personally write prompts for ChatGPT so that I can discover some of the best niches that I can sell within on Amazon. In my experience, I've seen tons of people spend tens of thousands of dollars into their business just for it to fail. And that's simply because they didn't set the right foundation for them to build on top of. And it's the fact that your niche tells your story and not anyone else's and is the foundational principle for you to build your brand identity on. In other words, that is where your brand will literally live and breathe on a day-to-day -day basis. It will allow you to connect with your audience in a very crowded marketplace. And honestly guys, without a clear niche, you're simply just another copy and paste product, copy and paste brand that's not gonna survive on Amazon in 2024. Now the most important thing for you to consider when you're choosing your niche is where you can step in and fill a void, fill a gap, in other words, in the actual marketplace itself. And once you get this one component right, you can easily profit more by selling the same audience for your niche and for your brand, multiple different products in their customer journey. So now let's head over to ChatGPT so I can show you some of the secret prompts that I'm personally using in order to establish the perfect niche and to find profitable products to sell within those niches. Okay, now that we're in ChatGPT, the key is really just to ask it one simple question, just like this. ChatGPT, find me a profitable niche for Amazon. So as you can see here, I asked it a very simple prompt. And as you can probably tell, because you were not specific, it actually didn't even understand. In fact, it gave us the process to find a profitable niche. And that is why you need to actually be smart with what you do. And the more time that you spend in the prompts that you create, the better the output that you are going to get. So let's try this one more time. So as I mentioned, I have a playbook of prompts that I actually work within. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste the one that we actually utilize in order for us to find 10 profitable niches. More importantly, not products, but niches to sell within. The first part and the first sentence is key here. Really identifying who you are and time to tell ChatGPT at the end of the day that you're not just a regular person, but instead you're acting as if you're an Amazon FBA seller, experienced in finding proven, profitable, and unique product ideas. And that way they can find niches for you so that you can find products within. So let's go ahead and let's hit send. And as you can see here, within just a matter of seconds, we got a bunch of niches that we can actually choose within. I'm gonna read off a couple of them that sound interesting to me. Sustainable and eco-friendly products. I think this is a very strong growing niche. With increasing awareness about environmental sustainability, products such as reusable straws, bamboo toothbrushes, and biodegradable packaging have gained popularity. This gives you some ideas of what you can sell directly within it, but the niche of being eco-friendly is definitely something that is popular in 2024. Health and wellness. As you can imagine, with COVID, people are starting to focus more and more on their health, including myself. So as you can see, it says, as people become more health conscious, niches like fitness equipment, organic supplements, or essential oils can be lucrative. So let's take this to the next step. Now that we have these 10 amazing niches that we can dive directly into, if there's one tip that I can give you, it's to never take an answer for face value. You always wanna dive in further. So let's take the health and wellness niche here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask it to expand on this. Now, when I'm thinking about health and wellness, I'm thinking about COVID. Okay. And when I think about COVID, I think about at home fitness. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it, can you expand on niche number two, specifically aligning with the changes to consumer behavior during COVID? And let's see what it populates here. Okay. Boom. 
As you can see, now I'm finding sub niches directly within this actual niche itself. Number one, home fitness equipment. Number two, immune boosting supplements. Number three, mental health and stress relief products. Number four, home health monitoring devices, healthy cooking and meal prep services, natural and organic products. You know, if I were to give you a, a, a little heads up here, okay, never get into things that require food, never get into things that require electronics if you're a first time seller. So if I were to dive in, I would be diving into these first three things. So again, you can ask it a follow up prompt to start giving ideas, but that is gonna be later in the video where we actually dive into more in depth prompts on perhaps some of the same exact niches here. Now, not all niches are gonna be the right choice for you. There are obviously gonna be good and there's gonna be bad niches. So if you wanna pick a good niche, then here are some things that you wanna consider. Number one, that niche has a passionate audience. Think of enthusiasts, specialists, or even hobbyists, people that are more engaged and therefore will be more engaged in your brand as well. Now, if you really wanna take this step further, if you actually share the same interests as your audience, just think about how much easier it's gonna be for you when it comes to actually identifying a product that you can make better and more unique in the marketplace. Number two, there is demand, but simply not enough supply. And if you can find a product with a gap like that, you can quickly and very easily take advantage of the Amazon flywheel and be one of the go-to products within this niche. And all you need to do is simply ask yourself one simple question. That's simply where customers are looking for a certain product, but do not have enough options in order to fulfill the needs that they're looking for. So again, this is where understanding who your customer is and solving their problem through the product is really gonna close that gap that is gonna turn your niche and your product into a brand that serves your customer. The third and the final thing that you need to consider when it comes to a good niche is ensuring that there's actual long-term growth directly within it. In other words, for your product to be sustainable within your brand for a long period of time, it can't be a fad and it cannot be following a trend that's gonna essentially die out. In other words, for your product to actually have staying power in order to survive in the cutthroat marketplace like Amazon. You need to be able to have something that isn't a fad, a trend, and actually has long-term longevity for that niche itself. Now, as we end this section, I'm gonna tie this all back in together. If you remember what I said earlier, finding the perfect niche is when you can find something that you're passionate about, that has market demand, but most importantly is actually something that can be profitable so that you can turn the cash flow to continuously build your business for the long term. And that's what's important when it comes to choosing your niche. All right, now seriously, now that you have found your niche and you understand what a good niche is versus a bad niche, it's time for the fun part. And that is to actually find the product that you wanna sell within the niche and the brand that you wanna build. Now the right product is the key difference to making $20,000 within your first month selling on Amazon to losing $8,000 exactly like I did without the right guidance on my first product launch. Now, in order to make sure that that doesn't happen, you need to have a good understanding of what actually makes a good product, exactly how we gave you a good understanding of how to choose a profitable niche. Simply just have a checklist, prompt ChatGPT with what you're looking for in terms of that criteria, and it'll output some ideas for you to go and dive into. There are three things that I'm gonna outline that are gonna give you a, a broad overview and understanding of what makes a good product a good product. And the first one is what we already did, and it's to pick a good niche because that's where your brand identity starts and that's where you're gonna start resonating with the customer that you wanna target. Number two is to not compete with big brands. Amazon has their own brands directly on Amazon itself. If you're gonna sell whitening kits, you're gonna be competing with companies like Colgate. Or if you're gonna sell napkins, you're gonna be competing with companies like Kleenex. Stay away from those products, please, and choose products that have a low review count because Amazon's a social proof driven market. So if you can find things that are under a thousand reviews, you're going to be in a much better position when it comes to actually competing with those people that do have higher reviews. And number three, making sure that your product is profitable and more importantly, actually, it's marketable. And what this really comes down to is making sure that there's an opportunity for you to differentiate, but also to make sure that it actually has keywords given that Amazon is a search engine that you can go and compete for. So without further ado, let's go into my screen and let's show you some of the comprehensive prompts that we have put together to find some crazy six figure products. As I told you before, it's not as simple as asking it a basic question like you're gonna go on Google. It's all about taking the time and the effort to develop something that is going to produce the most powerful result as possible. And that's exactly what we've done here. As you can see, this prompt is so comprehensive. And if you want access to this actual prompt sheet, 
then go ahead and comment directly inside the YouTube video and I'll make sure to send it over to you. It is so long that I'm not even gonna read it out to you, but what I wanna do is actually show you the output that we're gonna be able to dive into when it comes to this actual prompt. So as you can see, this prompt is built to make sure that we have a nicely formatted response. The first thing that it goes over is a product identification and niche analysis. It goes over the actual niche and the actual products directly within it. And then it dives into an in-depth target market analysis. And this is so important again, guys. When it comes to establishing your niche, it's all about who you're targeting. And that way you can build longevity within your brand by targeting multiple different products. So understanding who your customer is for your first product is key to building that back end revenue. After, it's gonna dive into the actual competitive landscape. And this gives you, again guys, what I told you the last time, very surface level answers. And that's the goal with your first prompt is to get information that you can actually dive directly within. So as you can see here, very surface level, but it does give me a competition level to give me an understanding of where I can go in with this market. Next is sales volume and profitability projections. As you can see, ChatGPT actually told me politely, thanks ChatGPT, that due to character limits, I'm gonna provide a concise overview. Okay, so it's gonna give us a concise overview in the remaining things. It dives into innovation and creativity propositions, product sourcing logistics evaluation, as well as an examination of product bundling or variation options. Again, guys, our goal is not to take all of this information for face value, and we wanna actually dive into one of these niches again. I'm gonna even give you more game, and I'm gonna show you the follow-up prompt that we actually use to dive into this even further. Okay, so if I'm diving through here, and I see that maybe I actually like the idea of foldable storage ottomans, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go and copy and paste this prompt right here. I liked the ideas from number one. And so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna change in number one here and I'm gonna ask to give me 10 more ideas similar to this. And just like that guys, we're gonna get 10 more in-depth analysis directly on similar products to our foldable storage ottoman. So now perhaps you found a good niche and now you've also found some products that you can actually sell within that niche. But in my opinion, you're still missing the most important part. And this part is what is gonna eat you alive on Amazon if you do not do this right. And that is how to make a product different so that you can ensure that it actually sells. Choosing a product that you can differentiate and in other words, stand out from your competition is what's gonna allow you to steal that market share from your competitors and gain the market share so that you can build a profitable business. So with that in mind, this is how I use ChatGPT to help and do a lot of the work for me that used to take me hours, if not days, if not weeks, quite frankly, that I can actually get answers in within minutes. Again, guys, I can't believe that I'm gonna be giving you this prompt as well. This is something that our students don't even have access to yet. We're gonna be releasing it in our new program in just a month's time. So if you want access to it, just comment below and I'll make sure I send over our entire prompt playbook within the product discovery and research phase. So as you can see, guys, I'm just gonna copy and paste this entire long ass prompts that's gonna be following our 10 step process to analyze and create a detailed report on product and avatar. All we need to do is take some of the products that we found previously. So let's go and go ahead and put foldable ottoman storage here. And then the avatar that we identified was stay at home moms age 30 to 45. And then we're gonna hit send. And in a matter of seconds, we're gonna get a detailed response on the top five competitor, strength and weakness analysis, the weaknesses of the product, the strength of the competitors, the weaknesses of the competitors, biggest unmet category related needs, a negative sentiment from provided text, okay? And then so much more, honestly, objections, what to consider when someone's actually gonna buy this product. This goes into so much detail, but again, you will fail and you're not leveraging ChatGPT and AI correctly unless you actually dive into follow-up prompts with this. So let's pick it apart. So I'm gonna choose one thing and I'm gonna dive into trying to get more information out of that and see if I can really come to a conclusion on how I can truly make my product different. So let's just scroll up here, choose anything that you really like realistically, innovative, innovative designs, additional features, weaknesses, lack of variety and size options, some designs may lack stability, limited availability in certain regions. A lot of the things, again, you can't necessarily leverage, so pick and choose, be picky here. It's very, very important that you be picky here. Let's take a look at the biggest unmet category needs. Multifunctional storage solutions. Customers need storage solutions that not only store items, but also serves as purposes like serving or serving as a coffee table. I like that. 
okay? So how do I dive into this further? So I would go ahead, I would just copy and paste this right here. And I would literally ask it to please expand on the following point. Help me design a product, a product that meets this unfulfilled customer need. Okay. And the goal here is really just to get more information. Okay. As you can see, it's diving into 10, probably 10 points, nine additional points that we can really, again, prompt again and try and get more and more. Let's take this functional add-on feature. I'm just going to ask it something super simple. The powerful thing about ChatGPT is it actually works off your previous responses. So it gets smarter and smarter the longer that you stay within the chat. So I'm literally gonna ask it something super simple this time, and it's gonna be to expand on point seven. Functional add-ons, built-in trays, hidden compartments, adjustable heights, integrated charging ports, modular components, a remote control holder, literally so much things that I probably could have found on Amazon and sifted through negative reviews, ask Google, ask friends, but in the matter of minutes, I was able to come up with handful, a plethora even more so of differentiation points that I'm gonna be able to leverage to make my product significantly better. So guys, there you have it. These are some of the proven and tested strategies that I use that our students use that allow us to really create a superior unique product in the marketplace and what does that do for us it allows us to charge more it allows us to fill that void that's in the marketplace and ultimately that means that we're building a brand serving customers that are in need and more importantly we're building profit and a positive cash flow machine that we can use to reinvest into more products and again build that product line in that brand so now that you have the prompts and now that you have the direction in just one of the many phases that it takes to build an Amazon beast, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct you to a step-by-step -step tutorial that we put together to make your life even easier that will help you understand the additional phases that you need in order to get your business off the ground. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.